Do it. You you started now. Go ahead. What's good with y'all today is what they won't say. Oh, I'm your girl bars. Oh, you feel that? Oh, I'm okay. your girl Becky with the I. I'm Courtney Lynette. <laughs> I'm UA. I forgot she changed her name. <laughs> you know what the I? I forgot the eye. Becky with the eye. With the eye. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> and because I'm probably the bougiest one in here. Yes, that's accurate. The lies you tell. Nope, that's accurate. Okay. Introduce today's subject, Beck. Oh, I thought, oh, I was doing the whole thing? Yes, right. the whole intro. Yeah, you sure. intro now. You so, in here. So, that's what's up. So, I got y'all. So, today we're going to talk about what does black history mean to us. Yep. Black history. Black history. And because it's, it's February. And it is 29 days this year. I know, it's a leap year. I'm leap excited. year. I want to have a unit. So what does black history mean to y'all? Man, what does black history mean to me? I start because, you know, I just said that. Mine is going to be super cynical, so somebody better start. Ooh, jeez. Well, black history means to me. I love when you use words. For some reason, a... <laughs> For some reason, um, people feel like black history is like celebrating the people from back in the day, which I have no, you know, qualms with that. But, you know, we're in, what's this, 2020. It is. <laughs> yes. So, and people make black history every day. So, Black History Month, I feel like should celebrate everybody. I know we do the memes and stuff like that, but like I feel like Black History is a celebration of all Black people, no matter what you do. If you laid down some concrete on the street that needed it really badly. That was most likely a Hispanic. Yeah. Are, we, are we doing this already? Sorry, I was it just saying. It is too like, soon. In this episode. It is too soon in the episode. <laughs> I, I would not do this. We're celebrating all black people. Co of people black of color. History. I, no, no, it's not people know. of color because no, Hispanic people us. are people of color and this ain't them. Nope. Do they get them on? <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Ooh, why are you doing that? That's, that's a celebratory thing, though. But, like, all right. So, let's think about this way. So you, just, you, <laughs> so, you just broke down the fact that, like, we celebrate everyone that is that is doing something every black person is doing something for our Googling. for, for our, our world right now correct mm -hmm. so do we have to have a month though like why do we have to have a month well black history happens every day so right so why do we have to have a month that's like bam this to is gonna me, be black history why can't we just celebrate like, because simply put like it's kind of i'm not gonna say why do we need a month to celebrate black history we should be celebrating black history every day but to put more emphasis on it we get a whole month yeah but like and do not say because february is not really a month it's only 28 First of all, days february we get the is the best month of the year because i was because born this month year. but we're not harping on that right now we're talking about black history so we're gonna keep it we're gonna keep it linear we're gonna keep talking about black history I don't think it's did correct. You have to, wait, did you have to point out that? Yes, because you're not gonna call February not a real month because it's I not like Pluto. Nothing, Niggas ain't taking it back. Like I it's said still gonna be a month. About you did rewind it. Wait, rewind the tape. We can't rewind it because we're going play it back. <laughs> Excuse me, we can play back. I get on my nerve. You know, what? I'm gonna take a second too. What? You know what? We'll get into that later. But anyway, first of all. I think us as a people should not continue to lie down and accept the fact that we get the shortest month of the year. As go. it has been said. You one of those. As it has been said, we should be celebrating each other and ourselves 365 or in this case, 366 days every year. But that's just my personal perspective. I, go. for one, in my 29 years of living, almost 30, Whoop whoop. This year. Am sick of he, seeing the same memes and the same did you knows because everybody knows about George Washington Carver. Everybody knows about Madam C.J. Walker. Everybody knows that Rosa Parks refused to get her ass up when somebody told her to stand the fuck up. Nah, so I, Rosa Parks. I, for one, am sick of seeing the same memes and the same inventions every 
freaking February. And I am happy that this year it has been toned down me for one, because I was raised by a strong black woman. And I was told I'm as a strong, strong black too. woman that we should celebrate each other 365 days of the year. I just feel like it's that mentality that us as black people have embedded in our own heads and in our children and our offspring's heads to let February be our peaceful month. No, celebrate your fellow black people every day of the year. It doesn't have to just be in February, but that's just my little two cents. I'm going to let y'all go ahead. Don't we celebrate black excellence all the time now? No, because I see, I see, I see no. light skin versus dark skin January and then March through December, but February seems to be the only fucking break. Whatever, but that's just my opinion. Damn, that Again. was cynical. She was for real. Well, I just think I think that like society has given us this month, and it's like, but why does anybody have to give us anything? Well, that's this is my thing is that like we have a month that celebrates Black History, but Martin Luther King Day is not in this month. It's just in January <laughs> for those of you who don't know. But see, here we go. <laughs> I get it. What I love Martin Luther King. Yeah, I get it. But so what? But look, Martin, like we we fuck get fuck. it. We get what Martin Luther King does. He fought for equality. He fought for equality. But do y'all realize he though? But do y'all realize though? Martin Luther King. I tell people this all the time. Shout out to my wifey who you know teaches mm -hmm. me a lot about a lot of different things. But like Martin Luther King loved white women. He cheated on his wife with white women. Whoa, 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 whoa! We're not doing that. We we celebrate in black okay, excellence. This is what they won't say. I so she wants to say it. No, but, but what I like want to I say said, is that like we like like did Martin Luther King do what what Martin Luther King did well for us? I'm not saying that. I'm not I'm not saying that he didn't do but what's see, right for us. But I want people to understand though too is that like we talk about a nigga that probably did a lot of things because he was in love with white women. So he like. He wanted equality, so he wouldn't so get he judged for screwing white women. Is what or she's get, saying. Get in trouble for screwing. That's what she's saying. But is that, that's what but, she's saying. But that's is what that I'm saying. truly like? Are you Martin Luther King? Are you in the mind of Martin Luther King? See, here's my thing. Well, I used I'm to like cool. white women, so I understand. I'm like, mm. oh, did that upset? You? No, it didn't upset me. It just y'all. I am my happily nerve. married to a chocolate. Y'all get on my nerve. Candy. Don't sit up in my. She got chocolate chips. <laughs> Y'all petty, and I hope she see this, and I hope she be. I cannot his wait till she sees this. I said it. Chocolate chips. I can't wait to say it. She got chocolate yeah. chips. Maybe. <laughs> if this wasn't my device that was being recorded right now, I would call her and I would snitch on both of y'all. This is what they won't say. <laughs> Yeah, I said it. it. Baby, I love you. <laughs> yeah, you better get that out now. I like that chocolate chip girl. Y'all <laughs> know she thinks she's dark skin. Yeah, she she swears she's dark skin, y'all. She is not. Yeah, but I love you, boo. Stop doing that. Y'all. You, you better not drop no shit like that in Pillow, right? Anyway, I'm editing. I'm doing this. I'm, I'm taking this whole thing out. Why? Why? No, I'm lying. I'm not. Yeah. But I'm just saying. Y'all don't want to hear this. Y'all don't want to hear this. Dang, y'all got me messed up. That was funny. But see, I'm like I said, I'm about celebrating the pioneers, Madam C.J. Walker, Malcolm X, Rosa Parks, Every year, Martin Luther King. No, that's my thing. Like I'm Every more days. now. I'm more Madam about celebrating Walker, people <laughs> like Lonnie Johnson. Who's that? Who is Lonnie Johnson? Is that the Super Soaker guy? That is the Super Soaker guy. He and I'm not talking about episode. Soldier Boy. Y'all shut up. Yeah, I've been excited about this. He said before this episode he was going to mention gonna talk about the it. Super Soaker I'm someone. I'm going to talk about him. I'm going to talk about he, him. So, to talk clarify, is the Super Soaker sexual or are we Did talking he, about the gun? No, he's we are talking powers. about if you ever had a childhood unlike uh, Becky with the eye hair. Gang. Gang, gang. Sorry. Um, I had Super Soaker. Yeah, we first definitely got to put respect on your name every time we say it. Yeah. But um, I had the Super Soaker 100. I had the super soaker. You the order, and then they had like the packs and all yes. that. Yes, yes, I have brothers. So explain I have to explain yeah, to the I world who doesn't know. I made that. So for those of y'all who don't know, he is the man who actually invented the super soaker, and then uh, Laramie came and took it from him, and he finally got his settlement for millions of dollars. That's what's up. Is he a lobster? For, yes, he is. He is oh. very much alive, and he is cre he created because he's the one who created the super soaker. He did it by mistake, but. He did create the How'd he do it by mistake? I cannot get into the history of that. I would have to Google it really quickly. But Is it I because he super soaked the hook? He did. 
What, did he soldier boy them hoes? Super so them hoes that I got from you. This is why we can't. Mm. We can't just have a, a mm. decent, mm. civilized mm. conversation. Mm. But to me, black history is celebrating I love how we just everyone. Settle down everyone. <laughs> everyone who is black, everyone who has done something, anybody who's an activist, anybody so, who I think that is one for thing pro black. With that mindset, what they won't say is celebrate in Black History Month because you have three people of African American descent come and see y'all live. Well, not live, but on, on your on, YouTube. Yeah. Game. But I also think that we should realize this that like we have so many like young black individuals in uh in leadership roles that we don't even realize. And when I say leadership roles, that doesn't mean that they're, you know, running for president or like whatever, but leadership roles mean like you have firefighters, police officers, correctional correctional officers, mm -hmm. you have lobbyists, you have people that you see in the the back shadows of like our society. Back shadows, I like that. That you feel me? Is that is that a role? I don't know, but I, I like know. it. Back behind shadows, the scenes. That's behind the thing. Behind the scenes, I shadow you behind Bump that. It's back, back shadows. shadows. Now. But like <laughs> that you guys don't realize it until you I guess you have to like be face to face with them. But though these are the same these are the people that are actually running our not running our communities, but that are in our communities that, you know, they go to the store and they see a young black kid or whatever and they see somebody that looks just like them with a uniform on that they never expect for somebody to look like them in. You know what I mean? Like for a long time, and even with us growing up, you see it, the world has it's starting to change a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But like with us growing up, you don't see black, you didn't see black firefighters on TV, you didn't see black cops on TV, you didn't see you know black people and and the government and stuff like that. It always you had it to was, be a basketball player or a football, oh, a football player. player. You had to be you had to be an athlete or a singer, right? But right. wait, but speaking of athletes, because I have to say this, we need to also celebrate people like Simone Biles. You want to know why we should celebrate people like Simone Biles? Why? Because for some reason, she got in trouble for doing things that people cannot do. What do you mean she by that? Is, exactly. So apparently she gets, there is a thing where she does, there's a thing about her um, getting penalized for doing things that other Olympians cannot do. So, so like, if she's on the, like, the bar, she does mm -hmm. a trick. She gets penalized for doing a trick that she has worked her butt on of doing that. That no one else can do. The next three do. people can't do. But we, but we base history being made off of things that people cannot do. Not, and for, let me switch over to white people for a second. Tony Hawk. People went crazy when he did the 900. But I think this has a so and, and I think it has a lot to do with what sport goes with what culture and this mm -hmm. makes sense. Mm -hmm. I think anytime I don't want to make this a racial thing, but I think that anytime an African American person can do something that is outside the realm of what non African American people can do, then it's considered a bad thing until a non-African American person can do it. Right. So in my opinion, my main thing with Black History Month is that people understand that you don't have to be Oprah mm -hmm. or you don't have exactly. to be Steve Harvey to make a difference in today's societies. You could be some regular Joe Smo that Well I guess that's that was my point of making that that was my point of saying that like with the with the public service or right. You, right. you call into a call center or you like it doesn't have to be somebody that makes millions of dollars right. of what they do. It could be the regular person that works a nine to five that get paid every two weeks. See you know what I mean? That right. makes a you difference. You could be the nine one one operator to save somebody from committing mm -hmm. suicide that day. Yeah. Um, or you could be the person that goes outside and throws football with the kids outside in your in front of your house. Like mm -hmm. that makes a difference. Like we like I think a lot of times and it kinda goes back to what Court was saying, a lot of times is that we we were like this with each other instead of like this with each other. So you take this one month and we're all like this with each other. We need to be like this more often so that, you know, everyone else can't be like this with us. Right. You don't have to be history to make history. Right, right, right. You don't have to have yeah. coins to, to make history. You don't right. have to be, you know, because like I said, you know, you meet that one kid in your front yard that is being raised by his mom and his grandma. You know what I mean? Like that. And you go out there and throw football with him every other day. 
you don't know what what difference you're making with him just by having a conversation with him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so um, and that and it's a different type of history. While it didn't it didn't make a difference that society has seen, but that's one kid that you don't have to worry about right. getting caught up in selling drugs or getting caught up in you know having a bunch of kids out in the street. He'll probably go to college. He'll probably you know turn out to be a lawyer or something different because that one or two, those two conversations you had with him. Right. And to me, that's making history. You I mean, to me, that's, that's, that's doing something totally different. Yeah, bro, you know, one more time on this. Cause it's really simple. It's right? If you think about it, <laughs> you know, yeah. Okay. like I said, black history is made every day. Be on in there too. So we celebrate it in a month, but we need to take the time out to celebrate, not just the, like you said, simply not just the, the pioneers of black history. We gotta celebrate everybody, mm -hmm. everybody, down down to us. Mm -hmm. Hear what they won't say, being the first black people to say what they won't say, because mm -hmm. we are. I don't care what y'all say. I don't care who's out there. Dio, Billy, Steve Harvey. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck about you. What's the mm -hmm. words? Mm -hmm. I don't. And everything. <laughs> And everything that you do, no give about you and everything, everything that, that you do. do. I hear you taking them. Off. I hear you okay. taking them. Okay. Oh, oh, down. No, no. Okay. Yep. Right. You were going crazy. Cool. Oh my god. But we just must, have, like I said, it's just about celebrating everybody. That's what. That's truly what Black History means. And it's not just about celebrating everybody. It's just celebrating everybody all the time. Like, mm -hmm. don't just say, "Oh, it's February, so we're at peace with each other because it's our month." Fuck that. Let every month be your month. We're always talking about how strong, how much stronger we are. If we came together, oh we could God, we run did. shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. and but y'all don't want to hear us, so though. That's all. And I, I also don't think Black history to me is not about a person. It's also about an action. So like, I don't give a damn about you knowing my name. But if someone grows from something that I've taught them. I don't care if you give me credit for it, as long as you've grown for it. So, like, like we celebrate Martin Luther King Day, like, and Martin Luther King, the person that he was, but are we celebrating the action that he... T Does that make sense? Like, well, y'all just bashed him and said he like white First women. of all, y'all did. didn't bash no. nobody. No, 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 no. Yo, no. yo. What? No, 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 no. I, I said what Becky was trying to I didn't say. Bash him because I didn't bash him. I was telling... I, I was speaking the truth. Like, I was saying if that. If that man like white women, he with I mean, it. So the fuck what? Comment he below. Comment below if y'all think that he bashed white. Uh, that you think that they bashed him. Comment below if y'all think I give a fuck too. Like, I'm just saying is that like, I, like <laughs> what's up? Nerve. Yeah, like I'm saying that. Look, you got me with that because <laughs> you got me hype. So what I'm saying is that I'm not saying like you heard the pop on that like, beat. I heard it. I'm not I saying. It. I'm saying that like we we celebrate a person, but it, like let's celebrate the action too because. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, well, like, it goes back to season two, episode one. Yeah, I was there. Brandon Anderson. We celebrate the person. That's black history. We celebrate the action. In the making. Yeah. You form a gang member. Giving out blankets to people who need them. Mm -hmm. It's cold outside. Winter it's finally cold. decided what it wanted to do, even though it's going to be 60 on Monday. But... I was like, today was the first cold day. Like, I know, it's days. been a minute. Yeah. But they out there. Mm -hmm. People need. There it is. A black person doing something. The action. Doing something. Giving out blankets for people who need them. Just because he loves people. Because he loves people. He sees these things. He saw these things happening. He saw what people needed and did something about it. Mm -hmm. yep. That's what it is. Shout out to Brandon. He miss you, buddy. Yeah. Me too. You gotta gang come gang. back. Gang gang. Well, well no, 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 that's not. Sorry, that's not gang gang. Never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> that yeah. was inappropriate. <laughs> not like gang gang, but like right. gang gang. Like, yeah. Not like For, no, 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 not gang gang, but like gang gang. Not gang gang, but gang. Because when you put two gangs on this it, real. It becomes a threat. It becomes a. Are we gangsters now? Possibly. <laughs> Are we at the wait, 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 wait. Let's let's do it again. Becky with the eye. Gang, gang. 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 <laughs> That's some real shit. That's some real shit right there. So I guess comment below what Black History means to you because, as you could tell, we have different 
views and opinions and don't let our views be your views tell us what it means to you we're no, 20 really minutes in this thing and i am already over talking about niggas yeah, wait a minute i am too you sorry. can't say <laughs> that that is what you can't say that's a this is what they about. won't say why can't you say that because you just said niggas and we they my niggas. people yeah we said niggas Shit. Both the time. And they I'm probably, probably understand though right too, now. They like, probably like let's turn these niggas off. They calling us niggas right yeah, now. Like I would have turned y'all off after five minutes. But what right, I'm saying to like black is history, that, come on, I'm tired. Of like it. and just because y'all got that one white friend that hangs out with all black people, don't mean it's okay for him to say the n word. What else do you want to talk about? Oh, I don't care. Just anything other. Are we back to bullshit? We can be. All right. So now we back on our bullshit. We back on our bullshit. Apparently, hey, let's talk about. Let's talk about. They this got stuff. something they want to. Let's talk about. about. I mean, so before UA came, me okay. and Courtney talked a little bit about uh, me, Courtney, and our. Is this head. about men? Because I don't want to get beat up. Possibly. It could not. be about men. It's not about men. Okay. It's about the uh, Alphabet Club. LGBT oh, plus community, right? Are they gonna come up in every episode? Y'all are my favorite yes, people. I just want to say that. So we were talking about the, and we had other people that were hanging out with us, and we were talking about the whole Dwayne Wade and his um his daughter. Oh, there we go. I knew this was coming. His out. daughter. I knew. I, the situation. Okay. It's not his daughter. She identifies as a woman. Fuck that. Let me say it now because I had a discussion about this, and let me. I do not. We gonna we gonna jump right into it. So do you want to talk about it? I I do. Okay. <laughs> I don't have a beef with Dwayne Wade's son, because it's his son, identifying as a female and so saying his name is Xavier. So won't you, why don't you, why don't you say daughter, though? Like, you don't have a problem with him identifying as a woman, but you won't call I will him. not say daughter. Okay. All right. Is it because he still has his I penis? I will not say daughter. Exactly. He has a penis. He's a boy. Now, let's, let's, let's go. Let's go on to that. I have a question, just really quickly. Go ahead. If I identify as rich, does that make me rich? Exactly. Exactly. I, I just say I that because if so, rest. I'll I'll I drop my like cash out and y'all can make me I what I identify. identify. Matter of fact, I'm about to start a GoFundMe Did that just for me identifying as rich. So I call the little boy a little girl. I'm just saying. No. I identify no. as rich. So can no. we? Make this rich shit no. happen is all I'm saying. He's Who not a girl. I mean, so, just give him some right, money so, to keep so, his eye out. While I am not a transgender individual mm -hmm. at all, but I, um, I'm sure we, like, I have friends mm -hmm. that are, and um, and I am a part of the, you know, mm -hmm. alphabet. I think that people have to understand that just because somebody identifies that something does like doesn't mean that they don't understand that they were born something else. But his so 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 him identifying as a as a female is not like taken away that like he he obviously knows he's born as a boy like he 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 knows that but like for him is that is what he feels in 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 his in his self respectfully herself is what that's what she feels in herself so but does it mean that and this is why i think people get confused with this is that because she and this is where it's also need to be educated for people outside of the community but also inside the community because just because she identifies as a woman doesn't mean or he, sh he should she should understand that it doesn't mean that huh, she should go into the woman's bathroom at this at this moment um because while she does identify as that, she still has a penis. Yeah. Well, yes. While she identifies as that, doesn't mean that that's how she she looks. You know what I mean? Um, and I think that's where people have to get an understanding of that. Um, I want y'all to realize that most transgender that are true transgender individuals, you won't even know about it. They could be in the bathroom with you right now. You don't. You won't know. I got a couple last because first of all, Courtney could see it in me. She could see it. She could see that something. I had I had something. So let me. <clears throat> hey, the views that are expressed in these next ten. No, no, no! Up. Don't even worry about it. Shout out to Just Care because I'm about to have a whole moment. <clears throat> let me start by saying <clears throat> this. <sighs> All right, let's go. What's his name? Xavier. 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 Her name. I'm, Xavier. I'm. I'm gonna go with her. Okay. What is her name? I think it's Zar Zara. Zavia? Okay. Zara. First Zara. of all, yeah, Zara. Like that. Zaya. I blame you niggas for this. 
And let me meeting. tell you, the people that are watching this, so like the people every black person? everywhere, not black people, everyone. Okay. I blame all y'all for this. Let me tell you why. Because when they first took that, when they took that first photo, everybody wanted to know what the hell was going on with Dwayne Wade's son slash daughter. Okay. <laughs> Little. Just, Younger, because at the time, uh, yeah, the, it's, it's, it's the young, child, youngest child. child. No, he's a middle child. Middle they child. Have their baby girl now. Okay. And middle child. They wanted again. to know what was well, going on with the I'm middle saying, child. Yeah. They took a family photo and they saw the middle child and everybody had a question about it. Dwayne Wade and Gary Union had a choice to make at that point. At that point, they had to make a, cho they had to make a choice to say, well, we're either going to talk about this or we're not. They chose to talk about it. So it's cool. So now they took more photos. They see him getting more girly, more girly, Let's call more feminine. girly, more feminine. Feminine, thank you. More feminine, more feminine, more feminine. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. See, this is why we have a member of the LGBT community. Anyway, that's not why. That's not why. We didn't need. I am. Cool it's as not shit. like we were <laughs> trying to meet some sort of. They were demographic, but it just happened to work out that way. It, it's affirmative action. At this point. <laughs> anyway. They kept seeing him get more feminine, more feminine, more feminine. Everybody has something to say about it. So now, those two, Dwayne Wade and Gary Union, decided to bring it into the light. Look, here it is. This is our child. Child. Deal with Name it. again? It doesn't matter. I'm about to look it up. I don't know. Yeah. The no, point it's, is, it's just busy. I'm this is the name of our child. Now, my only, only problem with this. It's just like Marlon Wayne said. He has a daughter. Marlon Wayne's daughter decided that she was going to be a part of the LGBT community. And I want y'all to watch this thing. If anybody is right here with me, because it was perfect. I never thought about this, but it was really funny. Big Ja. A shout out to Big Ja. If you ever see this, please, you know, give us some type of recognition. He made this video called The Lesbian Homie. And Marlon Wayne said it. Big Josh said it. I thought it was hilarious. They was like, they decided, their children decided, or his, ch uh, excuse me, Marlon Wayne's child decided, yo, she was going to be gay, you know, a lesbian. She wanted to be with women and stand third. His only question, Marlon Wayne's only question to his daughter was like, yo, are you at least going to try to dick to see you know, if you like it or not. But Boom. that's a, is Zaya. Huh? Zaya. 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 There but, you go. But with that being said, is that like, like you're sitting here saying, are you going to try to, like, to try to dick to see if it, like, wait, but what? Like, wait a second. Wait before you get into that. Zaya. No, let me, let me not even say that yet. Now, let me explain what happened in Big Jaws' video. Uh, I think it was part two, if I'm not mistaken. And a lesbian homie, um, shout out to, um, oh, I can't, is it just E? The point is, the girl in the video, and I will get this right, I will, you know, do a sidebar just to remember what your name was. Um, she decided, <laughs> she was talking about how she was lesbian, how she was lesbian, how she was lesbian. But then her friend talked to her and said, yo, I decided that when I did this, that, and the third, fuck it. When I had sex, I forgot, you know, this is what yeah. they want to say. When I had sex with a guy, I decided, yo, I'm a lesbian because I didn't like it. And that's fine. And then the girl realized, like, yo, I had sex and um, I, I, I haven't had sex with a guy, so I don't know if I'm lesbian or not. And weird enough, Lord have mercy, I can't believe I'm doing this. Tank said the same exact thing. No. Nope. Shut up. No. No, 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 no. Let okay. me, let me, let me. Tank said, how do you know what you are? We're not bringing this back to Tank. I know, we I'm shouldn't. Just saying. I know he, we she, shouldn't. She just, he's just quoting We him. shouldn't. How do you know what you are if you haven't tried it? Now, as a man... Cause I am now I'm covering all bases, so I don't want nobody in the comments to say anything. I don't want to know. I really don't care to know. 
<laughs> Shut up. I grew up seeing my mother and father. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Becky with an I. Gang, gang. Shut up. Hey, look. Hey, look. Fuck this story. Fuck this story. No, wait, wait. I gotta finish. I gotta finish. Get on my damn. Listen. What's his name again? Zaya. Her. Her name. Her name. I'm sorry. Her. Golly. The child's name is Zaya. The child's name is Zaya. Zaya. May one day, I'm not even being funny, may one day get drunk. And slip on some vagina? And slip on some vagina. But he's wait, the way he wait, made his child. You, how, wait. You, how you know the pussy ain't been thrown at him? Because girls these days is fast. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. One day, Zaya may just slip up on some pussy and be like, right, damn, so what if I'm going to say can I come from like a actual? How? Because if he gets it now, if he gets it cut off, then he'll never experience. I was gonna wait. Let me get into that. Now, because I've been saying this for so long, he's been slipping on my pussy for so long. Like I had a friend, um, Charles Giovanni. Uh, I've known him since he was a she, and. So he went from female to male? Yes. Okay. He went from female to male. And shout out to them because they are in Ohio doing big things. Now, and can you got tell a whole... That he, can you tell that he, he was a male? Huh? Can you tell that he was a male? Hell he was no. A female. A, no. a female. A female to male. Okay, so. Hell no. Not. I remember because of only. Only the only reason I remember is because I've seen him. Like as you a girl. were, you were there during the transition, so you knew. No, 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 no. I wasn't there. Well, no, no, you was there doing. When I say, but there, I was there. You, you yeah. know him from when he his birth identification to where he is today. Exactly. So you know him. So just to answer, because it was a it was a lot of long story that you had, but um, just to answer a lot of this shady. stuff. I was. Shady. It was just to answer a lot of that stuff. Is that <laughs> like okay? So. Shut up. Identifying at a part, identifying yourself a part of the LGBT community, just ha mm -hmm. like for the most, like it has nothing to do with like like having sex, like and that's why I think people get it confused. Like, well, have you ever okay. had have you ever had dick before? Ooh, let's go. Like, you know what I mean? This is what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I think this is a great debate. I'm waiting for it. Please come on. Me personally, uh -oh. this may be po this may not be politically correct, but I'm just gonna speak. For me being what? Sorry, I never knew she tattoo on your hand. Go ahead. I'm just gonna speak for me personally because I can only express my views and opinions. Even though it's on a public platform, I can only say how I feel about it. Now, me personally, I really don't give a fuck if you gay, straight, if you bi, if you a male identifying as a woman or a woman identifying as a male. I could give a fuck about none of that. Because I don't have to sleep with you at night. I don't have to worry about it. It's not yeah. my business. Neither do I. I don't have to worry about it until you bring it to my attention. Now, what I can say is where I get confused with the whole alphabet community is when you're a god that identify as a woman and a woman that identifies as a god and y'all somehow the stars align and y'all end up together and one of y'all is pregnant that's where the fuck i get wait, confused wait. and i don't like stories like that because i get so fucking so confused. i don't like her like that's like that's her. all i'm saying i want to like, hit that later i want to hit that later okay, okay. i'll hit that later okay because we just got about that she have a whole app episode on the LGBT. Right. So, this is how I feel, okay? Oh, no. And we I'm bring in people. Yeah, so... We can't fit nobody else in the camera. No, damn that. We gonna, so, we gonna bring it back So, there. what... Like, so, all right. So, from the start, you were talking about Marlon Wayne's? Yes. Who was it? Marlon Wayne's daughter, yeah. and his daughter, right? And his... his And a lot of people say this. It's like, well, have you had, you know, the dick before? Da, da, da. And, and, and some people have, and some people haven't. Mm -hmm. But having the D doesn't I didn't doesn't say dick. I, well, yeah, the D is stuff. Every, like having well, the D actually is funny. Yeah, anyway, like, go ahead. Having the D doesn't qualify if you're gay or not. Like because we call them um, gold star lesbians. As the lesbians that never had sex with a guy, but you'd be surprised a lot of lesbians wait, have wait, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a name. Yeah, it's a name for everything. But right. um, but 
so gold star lesbians are, are females that are lesbians that have never had sex with a guy but majority a lot of lesbians have had sex with a guy because you have to realize of how much you've actually like pe- like for people in my community in this community have actually fought within themselves of like like am i gay am i not gay do i like females do I so yeah you do try to see what it is but doesn't mean they don't like dick now. Doesn't mean they don't mean they don't like penetration or anything like that. It just means that they they are not mentally or physically or emotionally attracted to men. Cause they could be they are can you, like dildos, but not like I mean we a can get dick, dick from dick. a corner store, which I get. But like let's think about this. Let, let, let's put it this way, right? You 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 are a man. You can have you have. Your, I love how much the word dick has been said in this. Episode. <laughs> I love it. You you have you you are married. You have your <laughs> wife, right? Uh, shut up. Go ahead. You're married. You have your wife, right? Uh-huh. Like you are mentally, physically, emotionally, sexually, all that good stuff attracted it's to her, vagina. right? Okay, you are attracted to her, correct? Mm-hmm. All right, but then there are up there. Shit, you have us two. You're not attracted to us like that, correct? Mm-hmm. So we all have the same mindset and the same emotions towards stuff. It's just whether we are attracted to that person or not. Mm-hmm. So if if I meet a female or whatever like that. That I am, and there are people. My fiance has never been with a woman before until she met me. Mm-hmm. It's just we are human beings, and we get attracted to who we get attracted to. Right, and that's the thing is that we put these, we we put ourselves in these bubbles or these what like like you have to be attracted to this. Hashtag you have to be, love is love. Right, you have to be mm-hmm. attracted to that man. Be attracted to who you want to be attracted to, and sex has nothing to do with that. How many fuck buddies do people have? You get what I'm saying? So basically, her dad is telling her. Okay, all right. So, like, basically her dad's saying, like, you go get dick to figure out if you like it or not. There are so many bitches out here that, that can't come off of a dick. Don't mean they don't like dudes. I'm not, okay. Ooh. I could walk through a, a store you know and be like, yo, you are gorgeous. You right. Are, I'm a I could that. walk through a store and be like, damn, he is fine. You know me, I'd be like, damn, he fine as hell. Nope, but does not mean, huh, huh? For Tiffany to be looking at this. No, I mean, me, me and my girl talk about it. Yeah, like, what I'm saying, oh, like, right. you my can man. say, I said, dude, my not a female. Too. She's not with my butt, man. But, like, I can, like, she I told can. me she don't trust nobody. That's so true. She don't trust nobody. 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 She don't trust me. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> But it's the same as that, like, you can be attracted to whoever you want to be attracted to, but, uh, uh, society. What you look back? the way you look I was like, no, but, like, society tells us we have to be like this, and it's like, nah, man, be attracted to who you want to be. If it's, if it's this person today and, and a whole different type of person tomorrow, let it be. Why is it, it's a gray hair problem. Let it be. Why does it matter? Well, you are really serious about these gray hairs. But it's wisdom. Facts. I know. I see. Oh, I see him now. Okay. Sorry. It's a, <laughs> it took me a minute to see him. They don't like the curl like the other shit like the curls. So I see. Out. You got one right in the front too. Okay, bitch. Oh, okay. I'm proud of you. She do, shit, doing that shit. It's that awkward moment. Yeah. I know. Anyway. So yeah. So the fact that like, and people mm-hmm. always say that kids like kids are too young to know who they are. What like? And I and I understand, but I don't understand that because if I really think about my my own story, like I, if I really, mm-hmm. truly think back on my own story, shit, ask Courtney. Courtney knew me, Courtney knew me in middle school and was like, "Bitch, we all knew you were gay." All so imagine how I was in looking elementary in the closet, school. like you ready to come out yet? Right. So imagine no. how I was in elementary okay. school. I can remember. I can remember like how, when we play like like. You know how like, you know, as females girl grew up, like I grew up with like no listen to my fucking story before you start my shaking. Mama watching this. I don't know nothing about when I was younger. No, me and all my friends. Sometimes. Me and all my friends, we had like the like the play hey, kitchens mama. and like the dolls, my like, Oh no, I never played that. You never had play kitchens? You never had a play kitchen? No. That's probably That's why cool. I don't cook now. That could be a reason. So me and my friends <laughs> like play kitchens and like baby dolls and like their strollers and like all that good shit that little girls besides Courtney should have right <laughs> and I can remember nice. I can remember growing up always wanting to be the masculine person in that in that family you whether it's the, the little daddy. brother or the dad like I'm the daddy I'm grown <laughs> but I can I can remember that like I like I like playing with baby like I don't 
I never like baby dolls. Like my parents would buy me shit like that. I'd be like, okay, thanks y'all. But like, where where did my basketball at? Where my glove at? Why can't I get a paintball gun? I also had four, uh, three brothers, not four, maybe three, one maybe out there, but I had three brothers. So, um, like, I, I can also remember that, like, some of the shit they brought me, I was like, oh, thanks, and put it to the side, was playing with my brother's, like, cars, you know? And not saying that made me gay, because that, I mean, that did. That's okay. just who you were. All right, you, yeah. look, because I was ready. I was like, <laughs> That um, didn't make me gay, but I'm just right, saying is that yeah. I can remember being the, like, more masculine. And being masculine doesn't mean that you're gay, because I know some girls that, on a basketball court, that, Look, like they all look masculine as fuck, and they straight as shit. They they got kids and stuff. So Sounds I'm not saying that. Girls, you can like, have kids and be gay. No, no, I'm saying like they're like they're married. Like they, I thought they were gay, and they be like, no, my boyfriend. I'd be like, wait, bitch, hold up. First of all, <laughs> the <laughs> stigmatism <laughs> that you can't look. Just like there you are see, men out here married to women that are gay. No, yeah. oh, stigma. Look, stigma. Look, look, stigmatism. Look. But you be using big words though, bitch. Most she of the do. time, correctly. Yeah, she do. So just like there are straight men out here that are married to women and are gay, there are straight women out here that are married to men and are gay. That's I'm just true. putting that out there. That's Wait, true. all y'all did you gay. just I'm say just straight men, that, men are, that are married to women that are gay? She did. Yes, that. I said straight because in the eyes oh, of society, yeah, yeah, I said okay. straight men. But the woman is gay too. No, I mean, not in the same marriage. Like, I'm just like, saying. Like undercover men. She's talking about undercover, right, undercover, 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 undercover men. Undercover men, and there are also undercover, undercover women. women. Okay. Not right. necessarily in the same. If you yeah, are, like, if both if of y'all are both both together, y'all just you. need to go. Because I was like, no, like, people do that. People do it all the time. So, like, so there's so much about, like, the LGBT that we can talk about. Trust me, I can, I can talk about that. Like, but there are so many, and I know, like, pop your collar. No, I fixed my. No, you popped your collar. I know so many. I I I know of a couple that one was a lesbian, one and we knew the other guy was gay. Like didn't come out with neither one of them, and they were talking about marrying each other. And it was more of those things that like it works for society, it works for their parents, it works for you know the world. But then they can go and do their own thing. If that makes sense. So they had an open marriage. And to they had an open marriage, but in, to everybody else, they, they are a married straight. couple. But then it didn't work out, and I and the girl wound up coming out, and so and now I was married now to a woman. So hey guys, listen to me. It is twenty twenty. Life is short. Love who the fuck you want to. But love. you have to realize though, like a lot of the so it's easier. That's one thing I want to say to everybody is that like, so one thing that I will uh, commend D Wade and Gabrielle Union, and hopefully, Way to bring it back. I and like hope it. I love it. And hopefully Zaya, Zaya's mother, because I, we all know that Gabriel Union is his mother. Zaya's mother is is uh, they accept her, accept her with open arms, and they don't give a fuck what any of us. And do. yeah, please let me say this: I do <coughs> not have any type of beef with Zaya. You don't have, you don't have am, enough money to have it. You right. <laughs> You are so right. Just start off, and you can't. I'm, but I'm very happy that Zaya is who she is, and it's proud. It is a proud I don't individual. Don't care that Zaya is who she is. I think it's great. I do, however, <laughs> think that one day. However, it's just a fancy butt. Shut up. I think that one day. Oh, I hope. Excuse me. I hope that one day <laughs> Zaya doesn't slip on one some vagina. <coughs> and if she does what and then what? Then she'll just be a lesbian. <laughs> Ain't that that's Wait, that would that make it, her right? a lesbian? Yes, because she identifies as a woman and she gets the woman part and she slips into some well, no, 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 that no, makes no, her no. A what if she still has a penis? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. So, that part so, confuses no, me. No, listen, Wait, so, would that make her a can I explain? No, can I explain? <laughs> no. Okay, all right, please. It's like <laughs> she identifies so, as a woman right now. So identifying as a woman means that eventually her plan is to become a woman okay so right? so all right well her parents have enough money to do whatever you. she needs she needs to get done but so i so if if you are a female if there's a female that transgender that that trans genders genders to a is transgender i don't know tra transitions transitions, transitions, to, a, transitions thank you. to a man and d they don't have extra parts downtown um, they identify as a man, so downtown meaning they like keeping the vagina or penis. Okay. Thank you. Um, they don't. They what? don't have. Stop. So like, I feel mm. like I need a new anatomy class. 
No, oh. what the fuck? A penis in a vagina? No, because I didn't understand the way you just said it. So <laughs> if 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 a female uh -huh. trans gen trans transitions. transitions to a man, uh huh. Ooh, so I know. So when you look at them, you see a man, right? right? You don't know what the fuck is in their pants. So no. they still have a they still have a vagina because people ain't got coins like that. I get it. What about that, right? True. Mm -hmm. They still I'll have dealt a, with those. So if they are they they obviously are already attracted to a, a woman, that doesn't make them a lesbian. They're they still straight. Okay. Because they identify as a man. They don't identify as a woman. Like and I, I understand the, the confusion or why but they have a they yeah, have a vagina. Hard, but this person identifies as a man. They don't identify as a woman. Yeah, so you don't but I get them. that. I but get like, that they wait, identify as it, but if they have a vagina But how do you know they have a vagina? No, I'm what not saying see? I know, but I'm saying like if they have a vagina and they're attracted to a woman, that makes them a lesbian. No, I doesn't. understand they that they identify no. but they identify as a man. I could identify as white. That don't make me fucking white. Wait. No, wait, wait. wait. Did no, she just say if they have a vagina? But they identify as a man that makes them straight. They're straight. No, no they, they identify as straight, but that doesn't make them wait, straight. Wait, wait, wait. No, if, uh, so if a man has a vagina. Because they were born as a female. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Let's go back. Let's go back. If a man that was born with a penis mm -hmm. suddenly has a vagina. No. No, that's, that's not what not, Oh, y'all no, saying if that a a So if a woman was born, born with as, a vagina, born as a but woman. identifies as a man. And has transgender, trans transition transition to a whole man. So when you, when we walk No, that's not what club, you said, though. Yes, I did. No, you said she still has a vagina. Okay, so. Let because me people don't have coins like that. Because that's let, what me you explain, let me explain to y'all. Let me, let, let, I, I'm going to break it down to y'all real, real, because I have transgender friends that. Transgender friends that identify as a full fucking man. A full fucking individual that is a whole man. ID says it, like, has went to the government and changed it, all that shit, okay? Even though, like, yeah, I mean, y'all don't understand how much it costs to get a lot of stuff done that needs to be done to fully be who they, who they truly are, right? So this man, this person is now a man. When you look at this person, you don't know anything different than what you see. Anything different than what you mm -hmm. see. So when you see that person, you see, oh, what's good? What's good, Bobby? Whatever, right? You don't know anything different. So when y'all hook up and this person still has the parts of a woman, he's that he he is a man. He identifies a man. So he is he is not a lesbian. He is a straight individual. No different than he is. No different than he is. And I understand coming from y'all's point of view as straight individuals that, like, we learned you have a penis, you have a vagina, and this goes like this. Cool, that makes you straight. But then we have this whole new world that comes out that is like, this person is, is transgender. He identifies as a man, so we're going to respect him as a man. I get, I guess so my like, point of saying, being like, is there's a difference. So... I get that he identifies as a man. I will walk up to him. I will call him Bobby. But biologically, if he does not have a penis, he still has a vagina. That's basically a scissoring at that point. You are a lesbian no. that identifies as a straight man. You can you identify as it, but that doesn't make it biologically true until you have the penis sewn on. Nah. Hmm. I mean, it's just my opinion. Wow. That's not a part of the LGBT plus. But I can still have my opinion about it. Like, I will respect you and call you the title that you want. But until you have the anatomy of a man, you can't be straight. Wait, what? You can't. Until you have the, no, because it just messed me up. Until you have the anatomy of a so man. So, like, you can get your boobs cut off. Mm -hmm. You can get. Everything you could get everything except for the penis, I guess. But in my eyes, it but doesn't make you stay a, hard twenty four seven until <laughs> you Shut get up. your actual. We, we working on it, damn it. Then that still makes that anatomy part of you still makes you that makes you guys lesbians. But then that that puts you. But I think I think I think what you what we're missing in a part is that like. So I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying because, like, for me, I identify as a as a lesbian because I am a woman who is in love with a with a woman. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Who I, like, I'm attracted to to a woman. You know what I mean? 
I think with that is that if you're going to, um, like, I, if, if, I, if I was trans and I want you to respect me as a man, then you're not, like, it's low-key disrespectful to, to then call me a lesbian because that means that you're, you're identifying me as a woman. I get that. I like no, but that. I, and I wouldn't just walk up to you and be like, no, "Oh, nigga, no, 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 you no. gay?" Like that's not what I would say. No, I get it, but I'm saying like I'm like so. What you're trying to say, I'm trying to break it down to everybody else in in, in our in our uh, what you won't say world is that it, it becomes not like a disrespect thing. Like people are gonna throw the ones with you, but it becomes a disrespect mm -hmm. because then you're taken away from what like what Ooh, they I almost feel. Said something disrespectful. To me. I know you no. did. I was gonna say, I wish a nigga bitch would. Like, <laughs> oh! But yes. Okay. But yes. Okay. Only thing, and then we talked, and then another part of this was the whole like mm. bathroom situation. Wait, quick question. Can we rewind to what we were just talking about? Which part? Caitlyn Jenner. Oh my gosh. Before she t right. had the penis cut off. She Did was she straight. Yeah, it's gone. You don't remember no. the vanity where no. she was wearing that? One? It is gone. The penis she, is gone. Or she could have had a small penis. I do it. not feel like the penis is gone. The penis Caitlyn is gone. She has said it. She's a lesbian now. But before, when she had the penis, that nigga was gay. I, you know what? I'm a little confused about. So I well, no, she wasn't I'm gay. A, she was straight. I'm gonna make this that I don't know everything about. And then she, I don't know everything about being. And part of the community. I'm so confused. So I think, so I think that like, I, you want to be really honest about that? You'll be really too, completely honest about that. I think that was a way from the beat, like a stunt to be to make to be popular. Again. Really? I do. I do. You think it was a stunt? Oh, hold on. He's googling. Does Caitlyn Jenner still have a penis? Oh, <laughs> I, I just, I just think because like. And, and I do I do agree that there are so many people out there that live in a closet that are married and all that that live in the closet to where closet. like like they don't know how to come out I don't think that part of it was a stunt because I'm sorry but as a man to cut my penis off no no no, no. I'm saying it's like, like the like, biggest stunt in the world like I would never <laughs> do you have a penis or you know? I mean, I don't personally, you but if I got big balls, so. Wait a minute. I'm so confused. Too much? What? She's about LGBT plus and, and gender. <laughs> How you make an LGBT person confused about the LGBT community? <laughs> I'm Thanks, saying, Courtney. I got did you big shit. Yeah, I did because she said you. something that just had me like, I need to drink. I was like, that shit did not go down. I like need a drink. Did you drink some? Wow. So, um, we so he's looking up if Jenner has a penis. Awkward. Yeah, that's not sure. Yeah. But um, what was the other thing I was talking about? The bathroom situation. Mm -hmm. The bathroom situation. So one of the homeboys Don't that get me was started here, on that. So one of the homeboys that was here was talking about he has um a, a teen a preteen daughter and he in a little girl, right? Okay. And um uh, we were talking about how letting his younger kids go into and I've had this conversation with other people um about letting their little little children go into the bathroom. Has a vagina. Uh, okay. his little kids, their little daughters, main, people are mainly focused on their little girls, which I can totally understand, but I want you to understand that you should be focused on your little girls and little boys. It shouldn't, it shouldn't little boys matter. get touched too, as right. all the priests. Um, look at R. Kelly, but, um, <laughs> so, <laughs> what I want you guys to understand is that, like, I do respect the, the motion and the, uh, the emotion, excuse me, behind the whole bathroom situation, but, a true transgender, huh? a true transgender individual that lives their life as whoever they are, you will never know. You will never know, uh, unless they had a bad surgery. But most individuals that that are transitioning, no, we can't. Most individuals that are transitioning that still so like Zaya identifies as a woman, but still looks like a a, a young a young man. Um, I. I am probably want. I am ninety nine percent sure that she will still go to the men's bathroom because of how she looks. Nice. And most individuals that are transitioning into, and from my personal experience, that transition to whoever they are becoming, they are going to use the bathroom that best identifies of what they look like until they get to a till they get to a certain, I guess, look or point to where mm -hmm. they can use the bathroom that they identify with. 
And Courtney, go. I just want to point out that can't none of y'all niggas judge because it's a lot of doll face bitches out there Here that look go. like they should use Here the men's go. bathroom, but don't use the men's Here bathroom. So don't judge the Wade, Wade's daughter because she identifies as something. Because a lot of you bitches, if you take off your wigs, you will look like that too. I'm just saying. I get stopped a lot. Let me tell y'all stories about me and I. <laughs> I'm a friend, right? That because was too obviously, much? that was too honest. Obviously, it's not a lot of dog punches out just, here. Just go ahead. I'm obviously, sorry. I have a short haircut, right? And quick glance, I like a nigga. She I get like it, my son. right? Oh, he must be fond as fuck. But quick look, I like a nigga. I get it, right? So there are times that Bring I want to out here. Let him see. Yeah, um, uh, here too. Yeah. Um, so. I uh, so there are times I go into bathrooms and I'm like you know and I and I we I consider myself Becky's favorite outfit a is stand. basketball shorts. No, I don't wear. I look cute now. I am considered a stem, which is a soft stud. So like we we wear fitted clothes, but they're they're still low key masculine clothes. So like you can still see my shape, but like they're we shop in the same section. She wears basketball <laughs> shorts, but her bubbles uh, still be popping because I got a dump. Uh, Beyonce. Okay. okay. Story um, time. <laughs> but there are plenty of times that I've been stopped and be like, um, this is the girl's bathroom and I, you know my black ass and I'm ignorant. So I'm like, um, bitch, I got breasts too. And they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. They can't see him? Uh, well, I think that like when you're a drunk individual, you just see like this and don't see like this. Oh, okay. You know, you know I'm about to say, you clearly have titties. Right. Like, I don't understand. But I mean, and, and it, it, it makes me giggle about it. But at the same time, it's like, you know. I don't know where the fuck I was going with this. Let me, but wait, now that you Oh, we're talking that, about the bathroom situation. Can I ask a question? To me? To, to yes. Okay. To you and all, well, you're a stem, but to all studs. Let me, let me, oh, can I answer it? Let me ask y'all a question. are you a stud? No, no, no but I can answer like one. Stud. Let me ask you a question, studs. Let me ask y'all a Just question. Let me get close to y'all. Why? Why studs? Why do y'all? Why y'all? Y'all get on my nerves. They got my nerves too, bro. Why do y'all choose <laughs> studs? Why do y'all choose to have the biggest titties <laughs> and the fattest asses in the world? Yo, that's so and true. I promise you, and Yo, I say this so all the time. You don't ever see no skinny stuff. With you those have those never those seen. Numbers. I have never in the history Yo, that's so of true, my Paul. life that is so true. have seen a stud with little titties and no ass. If y'all are out there, post a picture because I ain't never seen one. Y'all like a what fucking unicorn. Like a little no, no, no. Oh, like oh, yeah. Like a little, a little no titty, titty, no ass thing. Like, I want you to look like a boy. That's all I'm saying. I got man boobs a little bit. But anyway. Don't cup it. 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 Don't why do y'all choose? Why do <laughs> one? So <laughs> why do y'all choose? No, no titty. Right, you can't unsee it. No, <laughs> you, why do the the big titty fat ass women choose to be studs? Because they always, they're always ugly in the face. On my nerve. Because they look like a, a dashing like hound. They look like they look like they've been chewing on bricks. They look like a you right. Bowl. You right. Like, 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 think about right. how they look. But still, why? No offense, but offense. No offense, but offense. I like that. No That's offense, that, but offense. I'm trying to think if I have like most of my friends. You're trying to make that a shirt. No offense, but offense. offense. Most of my friends are. Okay. Most well, that of my, was hard. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was so like, hard. damn, something happened. Most of my friends are. I would consider like I have femme friends, um, and I have stem friends. I don't really know. I may have a couple of stud friends, but even then, like. I don't have any like thick bitch stuff. There stuff. are so many subcategories. And you know what the other <laughs> thing is? Let me tell y'all something, studs. The other thing that irritates me about y'all, I feel like the more studs you are, and I, I promise y'all can prove this, the more studs you are, the more feminine your name is. Yes, they be like Courtney's and Emily's. Thank you. No, they really do be like, bro. Yeah, we said Courtney. Fuck it. Nah, we bro. Said but Courtney. they do. Or right. oh, Jessica's. They, Wait, they seriously. We didn't bitch. say he was a stud, ass. though. Ain't nobody said it's he was a stud. Because it's looking. Oh damn! It's two benches. Yeah. My bad. There yeah. You go. I did that real quick. <laughs> um, please don't fuck up anything. <laughs> but. Okay, so um, no dead ass. They names be like Courtney, Jessica. No, no. I, I mean, I've seen. Samantha's. I ain't never met a stud Courtney. 
That's because they be trying to. That's because they introduced you as. They introduced themselves as their stunt names, which is like Tony or some shit. You know. But your name be Tanika. Yeah. Like, please. Stop. But anyway. I'm done with this. I'm not gonna mess with y'all. No, keep going. I like this. No, I this should this should be funny. I got so many questions for studs, but I'm not gonna mess. No, with keep this going. Right now. No, we can't do this. I like studs. Why do studs choose to get pregnant? Oh, that's really awkward too. Actually. Yeah, like why? <laughs> See, really like I was kids. trying not to do this. <laughs> why do y'all choose to be the ones to be pregnant? Which I have a theory, and correct me if I'm wrong. Don't she don't know. She is still may or may she not know. know. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Do studs choose to be pregnant so that they don't have to sacrifice the bodies of their respective women? Okay, I don't know that answer because I'm look any person. So let me ask you. Let me ask you. Something. Uh, me and my partner have chosen not to have children. Right? Oh, okay, never mind. We have chosen not to have children. But wait, but wait, but wait. No, 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 no. And the reason why we've chosen not to have children is because we don't, we don't, we don't, we we live our lifestyle. Okay, we want to go traveling. We want to go do our thing. But we also have family and friends, best friends that have children that we can do the shit we want to do with kids. I hope you can see my face. And then and then give them give them little niggas back to their families. You right? Like take the child back. Right? Cool. But I've said from day one of my lifestyle, this bitch ain't having no kids, all right? Okay. I'm not having no kids. All right. I don't, I'm not having no kids. So if I, like, if any part of that I had chose, chose, chose to be with, chosen mm-hmm. to be with, is it chosen? Uh, any part that I choose to be with. Choose, thank you. Choose, any part that I choose to be with, they would, um, if we chose, if we had, if we chose to have children, um, they would have Why to be. Why is this word so hard for you? I don't know because because I'm drunk. Like, choose chosen ass and prison tent. Yeah, it's a lot. So they would be the yeah, ones. They would have prison. to be the ones to be um the one to have children. But I am also I have also been up uh, open to a, adopting children, but oh, below yeah. the ages of two. Aww. Yeah, because because I think like this and this is nothing against kids that've been in, in the system or anything like this, but just like any human being. I, I truly believe after the age of six, seven, eight years old, nine years old, you were low key stuck in what you know. Mm-hmm. So it's it's somewhat harder to break a child into being, um, who, being what they need to be in, in mm-hmm. society when they're older in age. Mm-hmm. So while, but if if I had to take oh, an older kid, I would. Yeah, I, if I if I had to take an older kid, I would because I'm not gonna not take a kid that needs somebody. You could have told me. Shut the fuck. Bitch, you be here all the time anyway. He's like, he's- she is adopted. Jaden doesn't need But, so I, I, so I guess she answered my question, but I do want to know if you are a stud. Hey, y'all know about that I'm stud? That stud girl diamond? Please ask my question. Who that? Uh, is that the girl? That please was like tell me that's the chick that, that does the modeling. Is that the stud that does the modeling? No, um, Dang it. I can't remember her name. I'm going to find her. Uh, her, she so her and her girlfriend was like they were dating and she was uh I would consider her stem, but apparently she loved to be femme like she she loves being she's bi, she's considered bisexual who's always been attracted to the guys too, but like her and her girlfriend decided to have a baby, <coughs> and she had and she had the baby and then now Diamond Wilson, Diamond Wilson. Okay, <coughs> shut up. I see inside of her. I see inside of her earlier, and I'm gonna show y'all her. And she's actually doing music, and she's pretty good, right? So this is her now. Yeah, I see. Okay, I can All right. see her. Cool. Let me see if I have a picture of her before. She put my name in your little hearts. Okay. All right. She, <laughs> but she what she her. did was she um she her and her girlfriend were together, but she apparently um. Always like like she was bisexual, but like was with a girl, and they decided to have a kid, and then like they broke up or something like that. But she was super so like this shows a little bit of how you she know, was. Our episodes can never just be simple. Oh wow! Right, and that, okay. that was her little boy too. She's dope. Follow her, Diamond Wilson music. <laughs> our episodes can never just be simple. It's going to be a simple episode. Oh, here's a stud. I want to turn into something crazy, like a dragon. 
What? Oh, Lord Jesus. She done got drunk. She was not a She been kid. drinking. Yeah, you want to do what? I want to turn into something. I'm tired of just being Courtney. I want to be like a Care Bear or some shit. Man, this episode is <laughs> officially over. Yep, here we are. So we have arrived at the end of this episode. I can't be a Care Bear. If so we know. spent the whole episode talking about how black excellence is and how you could be whatever the fuck you want to be, but I can't be a fucking Care Bear. So you see how mean, the fuck these niggas do me? I'm done. So wait, pause. Does that mean that you have to put on like a... Uh, oh. Nope, nothing there. So... She's not what a Care Bear. What are you looking for? I'm looking for the symbol on the Care Bear. Oh, there's enough stretch marks in here for it to be she something. Damn so, does that mean that you have put on like a, a head and like... We are not doing this. I'm not about to like do this. Next episode, I'm about to be a Care Bear. I'm not care. doing this. You don't I'm come my shit in a Care Bear suit. I probably... I won't arrived. come in this bitch, but I bet I'll leave this bitch in a Care Bear suit. We have arrived <laughs> at the end of this episode. I'm closing because I'm closing. So I'm dismissing y'all. So I'm dismissing y'all. So now you know what it feels like. Oh, can I just show you guys my socks? Because I take great pride in them. Yeah, I, I take great pride in her socks too. Let me, yeah. So, Bring anybody, that, about them anybody that knows me knows. Damn, that you I'm, think, bitch. You know. Damn, bitch. Oh, we gotta get out of there. Hold on, I put yeah. those together. I don't know. Oh, shit. It's uh, gonna be okay. All right. No, y'all break them, bitches. Y'all gonna have Anybody to that knows me oh, knows Jesus. I'm a diehard New York this Giants fan. Oh, so. okay. oh, Lord, this is about to be viral. Y'all like these? She got Oh, she thick, though. Oh, she thick, though. Anybody that knows me. No, she Get a dad, get a dad, dad, my 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 dad, those benches we just bought, I'd be like, baby, I don't know what you was talking about. Nope. And so, she'd be like, no, 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 rewind to, to we gone. 109 and 7 <laughs> seconds. Nope. Was Courtney standing on it? That wasn't me. Because she can repeat the question. That wasn't me. I'm going to let y'all have it. Go ahead. Because she can repeat the question. That wasn't me. Because I'd be playing like, baby, I don't know. But so, I saw a video. That wasn't me. It wasn't Shaggy, I'll say bitch. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. All right, I'm gonna, Can I just I'm say that I feel really bad that Shaggy went from a hit like that to playing Sebastian in The Little Mermaid. That's all I'm saying. Well, first of all, that's uh, get, that's a whole nother episode. I'm not doing this. I won't be moving done, it. So I'm, sit, I'm, I'm moving it again. Nope. You know, this thing, um, I'm done. So, yeah, we, um, you guys, we covered a lot in this episode. So, of the, course. This nook is not really supposed to be used. It's just for show. We do a lot of that. Don't lean and too hard. A, oh, <laughs> God damn it. I put a lot of shit together. <laughs> Apparently, she doesn't put sturdy stuff in there. Um, I, Black excellence, thank you. You better, Don't do that to me. I'm not leaning hard. No, you, put, you can put your hands on it. I wasn't on, leaning hard when I put my hands you on it. You can put your hands on it, so put your weight on it. All right. We talked about a lot this episode. So you guys tell us what black history means to you. Tell us what you think about the LBGTQRSTUV <laughs> community. LGBT you. plus community, bitch. Don't be trying this like that. Like I, You I, did it too. I said the alphabet community. It's like 27 letters at this point. And I don't understand half of them. Wait a minute. What? It is. 27. It is. It's I, I, I know what I... I get it. All right. But okay. I was being dramatic. I, Look, I at the end of the day, you guys tell us what you think about this episode. And let me tell y'all something else that was niggas bleeped out. Y'all have to share us so that we can get likes from other people. Don't be selfish and don't be stingy. You don't have to like us by yourself. Share us so other people can like us too. I'm okay? gonna let my white friend share us. Please don't, not this episode. Let them think something good about it. Well, us. we talked about black, fuck that. We talked about black excellence. They know, how, what they can they get collard greens and fried chicken from? Facts. I can't stand. Well, even though white of folks like, now white no folks, shade, but no, salt I, is not seasoning. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I got this one C and five C and per. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 <laughs> no. no, no. Get I got let's this. get no. Let's end this episode. No, no, no. I was gonna say I got this one individual that can cook with, with seasoning. That's yeah, perfect. but salt is not seasoning. Salt oh is no, no, he used like Laurie's. Nah, he used seasoning. Lari's. He used. Hey, shout out to you, bro. You use seasoning. I'm gonna let you see this. Just this part of it. Got it. Just this part? Just because. Okay. 
Well, guys, it has been another interesting take at What They Won't Say. This is your girl, Courtney Lynette. This is UA. And your girl, Becky, with the eye. Gang, gang. gang. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. What's wrong with you, bro? I even had in the shower. It wasn't me. She even got me on camera. It, it wasn't, wasn't me. Saw the marks on my shoulder. It wasn't me. Heard the words that I told her. It wasn't me. Heard the screams getting louder. It wasn't me. She said it really was over.